Keep coming. Keep coming. No, no, you're good. You're good. Just a little further. A little further. Keep coming. There you go. There you are. Come on. Just a little bit. Oh, wait. Hi everyone, it's Don, and yeah, it wasn't a great week to be a captain of a cruise ship, at least for some of them. We had two different incidences this week, and one was on the Saga Pearl 2, where the cruise ship, basically around a 600-foot cruise ship, was sailing into Dartmouth, and sure enough, it's under the guidance of a harbor master who supposedly knows the ports inside and out, and they backed into four yachts that were moored and not moving they were in the proper place it wasn't like they were out of position or anything and they just ran into the sides of them and apparently people were jumping off the ships in their pajamas and running for cover it just caught them completely off guard uh there's no word on why this happened there was no bad weather it wasn't huge winds it was just an accident so um, I don't know who directly is at fault for that one. Is it the captain? Is it the harbor master? What happened between the communication between the two? But something certainly went afoul there. And then in New York, the pride of Carnival, the Carnival Horizon, their brand new ship, ran into the dock in New York. And again, there was no cause, really. There was no weather. There was didn't seem to be any malfunction. Both the cruise line and the port authorities are launching an investigation into it because it was a ship hitting a standing ob object that wasn't moving. So the only fault that can lie is on the ship. It's not like the dock jumped out six feet and hit the ship. So, so they're launching into that. The good news is, again, there was no real damage to the ship. It's just a little bit of damage up near the nose. Uh, the really good news is for both incidences is that nobody was hurt, nobody was injured. This could easily, imagine if you were sleeping on your boat when that ship runs into it, uh, you could, you know, <laughs> things could have gone a lot worse than just scrambling overboard and just swimming the 10 feet to shore that they had to swim. So uh, good news there. As far as the Carnival Horizon is concerned, it's it. Uh, disembarked properly it's no slowdown in their embarkation for their next sailing it's not supposed to interfere with any cruises going forward so uh, if you are cruising on the horizon shortly don't worry it's still fine except for why they hit the dock as far as the dock is concerned they're bringing in structural engineers and they're going to take a look at it because there is cement pillars that are pushed over to the side and now one of the edges of the roof area is leaning over so they're gonna have to check and see what they need to do to prop that up and make sure that area is safe as well so yeah not a great week to be a captain not a great week to be a harbor master in Dartmouth so let me know uh, how does this make you feel about cruises this is one of the reasons I tell everybody that accidents can happen. It doesn't have to be a storm. It doesn't have to be an iceberg. It doesn't have to be another ship running into you. Accidents can happen anywhere, no matter what. So this is why I, I really stress the sit on the sail away day is that you pay attention to the mustard drill. You never know. I know a lot of people like, I've been on tons of cruises and I pretty well can tell you what to do on a must. But every ship is different. Also in the muster drill, if there's some reason that a certain way to those uh, tenders to get off the ship, the lifeboats, is under construction or being painted, they will let you know during the muster drill that there's an alternative route. So don't just go in there and go, okay, we're here for our 10, 20 minutes. Can we go now? What time is it? Is the buffet open? Pay attention because 
in an emergency and the em lights go out and the emergency lights pop on and the sirens going and they're saying abandon ship, you better know where to go. So it can happen anywhere, anytime, no matter what. No matter how high tech we get in our world, stuff happens. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.